everyone today me and my friend manpreet and ash we are going to talk about the uh, maritam museum which was our on site visit um, as we know that there are four maritam museum in australia uh, melbourne sydney new south wales and fourth one is in the brisbane which was founded in 1971 and uh, this maritam museum is located uh, at south bank brisbane river uh, this uh, this museum is a self funded museum because uh, it is not getting any financial support from the government uh, they get only till 2003 uh, financial support from the city council but after that they are getting they are not getting any financial support uh, only volunteer who are run, uh, running this uh, museum and uh, if we talk about its background uh, in 1961 In 1961, they um, they made a society named by a uh, worldwide society. Um, that people who were interested in the navy and uh, maritime history, they joined this society. Um, they made they organized a event. Um, the uh, in this event, they see a lot of vi- uh, visitor. Uh, so they. they decided to make a maritime museum so that they can preserve the artifacts of uh, maritime and uh, after deciding they took a proposal to the queensland maritime uh, museum but the uh, queensland museum um, denied the proposal so with the memorandum association uh, created this uh, museum and uh, in this museum the volunteer uh, did their best to bring the uh, assets in the historical uh, display uh, such as the uh, such as the uh, steam tug as you can say this is the steam tug um, which was renovated in 1971 uh, and the diamond the another was the diamond tina um, diamond tina ship was served in the australia in 19 1945 to 1979 uh, in 197 in september 1980 diamond tina was preserved to queensland maritime museum uh, museum and steam to brisbane 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 uh, maritime museum and uh, it was uh, replaced in the uh, in the dry dock uh, in 1981 i want to talk about some issues and first of all we are going to talk about the safety and security according to the safety point of view there is one big dry dock in which big, there is a big ship and all the people go around that dock and inside the ship so while going through this ship and around the dock there is a one fence as you can see here this this fence is there is a plastic one and which is not enough to stop any kind of miss happening for example children always try to push uh, their weight on the railing and this fence is not enough to put they give them support so that can lead to big injury and even a death it is because the dock around the ship is 30 feet deep and if person fall from here and you can guess that anyone can get serious injury or even a death secondly security is also very important for any tourist sport so to stop any kind of any injury and accident and some other any social activity as to the sport and the some people who are spoiling to this sport but at the maritime museum there 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 are there is no enough security guard even there is no single single security guard if in inside the ship or outside the ship who can keep security there is no security camera inside the ship or outside the ship and for example on inside the ship there are lot of loose parts inside the ship like you can see here and anyone can take that part in their bag and they can take home and which is so very and there should some security guard who can check the bag or there's some metal detector machine the people who are coming in and going out so they can see if someone don't bring anything illegal inside the ship or inside the museum next is issue is a maintenance issue 
For any tourist sport, maintenance can play an important role to keep that place popular in the people for a long time. But museum is also lacking in this part. There is no maintenance in the uh, in in the museum. There is one big attraction is the game and Dana share, which is not looked after at all. And there, you, as you can see, this is the main room, engine room in that shape, and it's still rusting very badly. And all other parts are rusting, so they need to look after that shape to keep it for a long time. And same with all other parts, like a wooden boards and anchors, and they are not looking after about uh, looking after any of the part uh, of the museum. Moreover, in the maintenance part. There is another problem of the cleaning. Uh, there is not much cleaning inside the ship when the garden or the dry dock. There is a lot of rubbish in dry dock, and all the garden is uh, full of the rubbish. And as you can see here inside the ship, in which is the main part of the ship, it is a kitchen, and there are a lot of soft drink cans inside it, which is a sort of uh, visual pollution, which affecting the actual look of the shape there is another picture inside the shape and you can see there are a lot of rubbish and this this is in the main part of the ship inside where, where they were showing that how the people were cooking and how they were uh, sleeping and it's in the same part the same, same part which is a, a very important part of shape but it's affecting all the look and no one wants to stand there for a long time so we can say it's affecting very badly the image of that ship and if the person who are coming there, the person who is coming there, I don't think after looking at all these rubbish inside the ship, outside the ship, they would visit that place again. Next, next is superficial lack of visitor. Lack of visitor can play an important role for any tourist sport because they are driving force for tourism. And if, they, if any sport is not getting enough people, any enough visitor there, so it, the tourist sport can can't survive for a long time. So in that place, in the Maritime Museum, they are also facing lack of visitors because there is not enough awareness. Not much people know about the museum, as we talked about. I talked with some people around the museum on the South Bank. So it was surprised that we were surprised that even people on South Bank they didn't know about Maritime Museum. So they need a lot of awareness. And after, like even if people are visiting on the place Maritime Museum, it's it, they are not finding it interesting because there is no tour guide who can tell them all about the place and who can tell them about the interesting facts, historical facts about that place which can make it interesting or the, the, there is no one to answer the question if, if you uh, answer the question of visitors if you want to talk to them you have to go to the there is a particular room and if, uh, to talk to them which is also a big problem and the, all the signs on that place is uh, are, are only in English language there is a lot for other language so it, it, it can be a problem for the foreigners who are visiting that place because it's not easy to understand in English and last is so we can say it's a fluctuating uh, crowd the museum is not getting crowd or continuously or about the year long the big crowd is visiting that place only in the, Event when they organize some event like on Navy Day or, in, or some Anzac Day. Next problem is the infrastructure. Infrastructure is is very important for tourist sport. Like the infrastructure can attract people to a tourist sport, but in maritime museum the infrastructure is also a big problem. There are no toilet facility, and there is no particular pathway which can lead to all the display the people can visit all the display in one path if, if you're going to there you have to find a place to if you're going there and on that side you can miss any part very easily so they should put some pathway there and there is no parking for a peak time if peak time people come there at 
they have even don't have the park, uh, parking place for even single car. So that's also a very big problem in infrastructure. Lastly, I can say that there's not enough fund a museum has. And museum is not getting any kind of help from the city council. They used to get help in two, up to 2003, but they stopped it. And now the museum is self-funded. So whatever they're earning from the ticket, from the visitor, um, they are trying to manage everything in that money. And so and there is not enough funds. So they, the, we can say the main root cause for, um, for any uh, all the problems, all the issue at that place is funds because they are not getting enough funds to make, to hire the cleaning staff, security guards, and all maintaining of the uh, of the ship or any damaged damaging asset of the museum. So these are the some issues. And next, my friend Ashley is going to give some recommendation for all these issues to solve this all these issues. Next, my friend Ashley is going to give recommendation. Friend Manu has just discussed about the issue at the Maritime Museum. Now I would like to propose some uh, recommendation for the site. First of all, it's about the safety and security problem. Um, my recommendation is first, the operator should increase the height of all the fence around the ship. Therefore, the tourists or the visitor will not uh, be in danger of falling. Second of all, um, there should be more warning signs around the museum and inside the ship to warn the visitor about that danger. Not only that, um, not only that, the tour guide need to constantly warn the tourists about this danger. And lastly, there should be more security camera inside the ship to avoid souvenirring and all the exhibits should be put in a glass shell for exhibit. Next, I would like to talk about the maintenance problems. So the ship is heavily damaged and requires immediate and periodic maintenance. So I suggest uh, the operator should hire more staff for maintenance as well as cleaning uh, and have a detailed report on our oh, detailed report so that they can keep track of all the damage of the ship and what they have done to repair. So, next, I would like to talk about the lack of visitor. As my friend Sandeep has explained, right now the main revenue for the museum come from the sale of the ticket. However, the lack of tourism is right now at an alarming state rate. To increase the number of visitors, the operator of Maritime Museum should increase the awareness of tourists to the site. This can be done through advertising on TV or on social network. And not only that, they need to increase the mindfulness of the site. Uh, some example some proposition some recommendation for the site is include a pirate event or controlling the cat the next problem i would like to address is the infrastructure of the museum infrastructure is the backbone of a destination and it will bring comfort to visitors and tourists. There are some uh, way to increase the comfort of tourists, uh, tourists when they visit Maritime Museum, such as, first of all, we need to build a pathway which will cover all the important park in a tour in Maritime Museum. And then we need to have more seat or non slippery surface and proper lining to increase comfort comfortness for the tourists and then we need more shed shadow shed to uh, protect all the exhibit from lightning and rain in conclusion
we can say that there are some serious problems in the museum uh, as discussed by Mantri as well as given some recommendations um, as discussed by Ashwin. Um, after conclude, we, uh, we come to know that the main problem in the museum is fund uh, because they, they don't have the enough funds to maintain the museum. Uh, when we discussed all the issues and problems with the volunteer uh, of the museum, then we get only one answer that we don't have the enough funds. Then um, how we can maintain the museum as well as how we can um, hire the staff for the museum. Uh, it um, according to us the um, the management should uh, uh, take some steps uh, to the museum. Uh, they should uh, they should convince the government to give the fund to museum so that can they can maintain museum um, in the smooth way. As well as they should promote the museum by advertisement and uh, to aware the people so they can visit more. Uh, so the more and more people visit the uh, museum and uh, they can get the more funds to maintain the museum and uh, that's it thank you